So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Seven of Swords, and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Seven of Swords, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, who has given you cause for concern, then you might just want to rethink that impulse because we all know that everyone deserves, everyone deserves privacy. Now, six, the seven, I'm sorry, that's the seven of swords, the card above the word, pass. Let me turn the light around so you guys can see. I hope this helps. Sometimes the glare from the light, it makes it worse. Okay, so Seven of Swords is with the Eight of Wands. Now, this Eight of Wands is showing that there's a lot of things up in the air when you get the Eight of Wands. So, you could be tired of waiting and frustrated. But this card, it indicates to be patient a while longer. You probably have done all that you can do. Now decisions must be, made, must be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force things, because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist, so all you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So, Pisces, what I'm picking up here for you and your person with this recent past energy, Seven of Swords clarified by Eight of Wands, is that your person, they, I don't know if you know this, but they did a lot of watching you before they approach, decided to approach you. Yeah, it wasn't like you two just met at a bar or a restaurant. This is somebody that probably kept tabs on you, maybe through your social, by your social media accounts, or or maybe from s someone in your neighborhood that knew where you lived. They drive past your house and to see if they can get a glimpse of you. So, yeah, somebody. This is someone who. Like I said, they did a lot of watching. Some people might call it stalking. Because the Seven of Swords is a stalker card. Yeah, this person was interested in you. Nothing dangerous. It's just that when some people find someone desirable or attractive, some people like to, what is that word that they use? Vet. Yeah, that's it. Vet out a situation. Be like Victor E.T. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Some people like to fill it out. Get a few looks before they... Get a few looks or get, the, get a vibe. Get some type of feeling going on before they actually approach. But anyway, your, this, your person, this person, whoever this is, someone that was new coming towards you, or maybe this was someone that you already knew, they stalked you before they approach you. If this is someone you're with, then for most of you, this is what your person did. They did a lot of watching you, and it was nothing bad. It was just their way of getting to know you before they approached you. So, because it's with the Eight of Wands, yeah, this is what they did, and then they decided to reach out. Eight of Wands can be about communication coming in. So you two did a lot of communicating back and forth. Maybe getting together. Things were up in the air. But yeah, that's what the situation was for a lot of you Pisces with the recent past. 
between you and your person. Now let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Now this Ten of Pentacles is actually great. Yeah. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles. Either the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. So this is actually pretty good. Ten of Pentacles, it says that you've got a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds. Your health, your finance. Everything is going well when you get the Ten of Pentacles. You might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. And, and be sure to share what you have. Yeah. Yeah, share what you have. Make the best of it. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know we get back what we get out. Now, Ten of Pentacles is with the Seven of Pen Pentacles. This is a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, energy, and effort that you put into a relationship, reaping what you have sown. This is usually positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while, Things will be moving along really well. You'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you might have to, you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. And the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles for what's coming up. Yeah, so basically, this person who who did a lot of watching you and then finally decided to communicate, there was communication going back and forth. Sometimes things seemed like they were just up in the air for you and your person. Um, but coming up, it looks like uh, your person uh, is really feeling you, Pisces. Um, this person wants to make something happen. They want to make the connection grow. Because if you look at the seven the pinnacles, it's the picture, the card below the word present. You see how she's watering the plant? She had this plant ever since it was a little tiny baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. Now it's about eight or ten feet tall. The leaves are dark in color. They're all rich leaves. They're healthy. And it's continuing to grow. She gets up every morning to take care of it. And before she, she goes to bed, she takes care of it. So your person, they, they, they're really taking a liking to you. And they want to make something happen with you. They see you as someone that they can have the end all, be all with. With the Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles is everything. So they see you as someone that they can, that they want to grow with, make things happen. Yeah, nurture, take care of. C commitment is also what, what you get with the Ten of Pentacles. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Strength card and it's with the Four of Cups. Now the Strength card, it's important for you to take time to meditate, contemplate, Spend time alone, even if you're in a committed re relationship and you've got 19 kids. So, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things, they'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight because not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So, conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now it's with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now, count your many blessings, and don't worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. Be sure to count your blessings. 
Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So your challenge, Pisces, strength card, clarified by this Four of Cups. So... Yeah, I'm picking up that you could have some regrets. Because if you look at the Four of Cups, it's the picture that's, it's a card below the word challenge. This man, he's sitting on a park. He's sitting in a park on the grass. And he's so deep in thought. He's stuck in regret, wishing things were different. Um, his hand is bleeding. I don't know if you can see it, but if you put the screen on full, you can see there's a lot of blood on his hand. And he's so stuck there in wishing his life away or being regretful that he cannot even get up to take care of himself. So, you could have some regret, um, Pisces, that... Um, that you don't have, that the, the feelings that this person have for you, you could have regret that, um, it's not mutual. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe this is someone that you used to know. Yeah. It could be someone that you used to know. That's why, that could have a lot to do with why they, they watched, they did a lot of watching you before they, um, reached out to communicate. But you might know, maybe you know too much about this person, or maybe you know that it, it would not be a good fit for you. Because you, it's showing that you could have regrets that, yeah, that you feel like it's not going to be a strong fit for you. Because the strength card is about um, a strong relationship. It's about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. But your strength card is paired with the Four of Cups. So you're regretting that... Um, you would lose, probably lose yourself in the relationship. Maybe that's what you did before with this person. You lost yourself. You lost self-love. You lost self-respect. And you're feeling that it, it would not be a strong, healthy relationship. And I say, I would say the opposite if it wasn't with the Four of Cups. But it's with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is, it brings the strength card down. So, yeah, so this, this has to be someone that you, you already know. Or maybe someone that you heard a lot about. And we all know that those, when you hear a lot about other people, it, those, um, that information may or may not be factual. A lot of people do like to spread lies. Yeah, we all know people like that. So, anyway, Pisces, this person that's coming back, that's been keeping tabs on you, ready to make their move, they see you as someone that uh, they want the end-all, be-all with now. And they, they'll be putting, they want to put all all the effort and energy in to make it grow, to make it work. But you've got regrets that you just don't feel like it would be strong and you, so you don't feel, yeah, you're not feeling it. You feel like you would lose yourself, lose a lot. Self-respect, self-love, and you don't feel like it would be a mutually strong relationship 
So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Six of Pentacles and it's with the Four of Swords. Six of Pentacles can be um, a card. Well, actually, it can be a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive Pentacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So, when you get the Six of Pentacles in a reading, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. It's a card about generosity. It does mean that you are either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. Now, it's with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, it actually can signify that there's a need for a break. Could be from normal life, or maybe a person or a situation. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It is a sign to give people their space, so you could feel like you need some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your, of your attention. Bits and time of your intention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Okay, so Pisces, the outcome, Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Swords. So yeah, like I said, you, I'm getting, what I'm getting now is that you do know this person, like I said, but I don't know if you knew, or I don't know if you know that they, they've been watching you, maybe for a, for a long time, or maybe a short time. And then they realize it's time to make a move. They feel you as someone that they could have it all with. They want to make a relationship with you and they want it to grow. But you regret that you don't feel the same way. Yeah, you're not feeling the same way that they do. You wish it was someone different maybe someone that you had your eyes on but you're feeling this person is not the one for you you feel that they could possibly bring you down maybe it's someone that you used to date so it's looking like the outcome is that you withdraw yeah they might reach out to you again and you probably won't respond maybe for a day or two days or a week and they'll they'll get the hint but it's interesting because they're not going away it looks like they're going to start to do more like the six of pentacles is about generosity um it can be about um uh, like I said, being the beneficiary of something of value, they might start doing nice things for you. Buying you gifts, taking you places. Yeah, this person really, really likes you, Pisces. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's someone from the past. I'm getting it's not anyone new, but it could be. So they start to give to you really nice things or... Like I said, do nice things for you. Because they realize that uh, you need some convincing. Because you kind of ghost this person. Maybe it took you a week or two to call them back. So, yeah. This person doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. So, Pisces, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. 
That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to join one of those. So Pisces, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, please keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, could be a family member. Or it could be a situation. So take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say on enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And I hope all is well. And take care.